Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Newman. And I'm Clay Cartagena. Welcome back to Campbell Now Sports. Baseball coach Justin Hare is celebrating more than 300 wins at Campbell. Coach Hare has led the Camels to seven NCAA regional tournaments and seen 13 players be selected in the MLB draft. This career milestone came during Campbell's weekend sweep against Valparaiso. Campbell is on a seven game winning streak and is 16th in the country. Next up for the Camels is Charleston Southern on Tuesday. Tay Gaudiali has been named SoCon Wrestler of the Month following a strong regular season. He secured 32 wins in total and was undefeated in conference matches. Gadi Ali is ranked ninth in the NCAA coaches rankings and is preparing for the NCAA championships this Friday in Kansas. The women's basketball season has come to an end after a loss to top seeded Stony Brook on Friday. Shai Tooley ended her collegiate career with a strong performance scoring 16 points and recording her 300th career three-pointer. Jimma Nunez also had a good game recording 7 points, 6 assists, and 3 steals. The Camels finished their season 17 and 14 overall and will soon start preparations for next season. CAA Player of the Week Isabella Smith led the softball team into their weekend series against Townsend. Smith recorded 8 strikeouts in the first game, leading the Camels to a 6-2 victory in Game 2. The Camels started off strong, scoring 2 runs in the second inning, but Townsend responded in the third inning with 6 runs. Campbell was unable to come back after losing 6-5. Towson carried the momentum to the third game, beating the Camels 3-2 after scoring three runs in the final inning. The Camels are now preparing to travel for Elon for another weekend series. The lacrosse team is hoping to regroup after a tough loss to Hofstra on Saturday. The Camels put on a strong performance in their first CAA conference game, but ultimately lost 13-10. Allie Heath put in a strong performance, recording her sixth multi-goal game of the season. The Campbells now look ahead to next weekend when they continue conference play against Drexel and nationally ranked Stony Brook. Men's golf is celebrating a solid performance at the Schenkel Invitational. Campbell completed against 11 of the nation's 100 teams. The Campbells finished 13th overall and will have the week off before returning to next week for Seahawk Invitational. Women's golf secured a 12th place overall finish at the Florida State matchup during the weekend. The Campbells competed against 13 of the nation's top 100 teams and saw Alicia Olson tie for 33rd individually. The Campbells will now enjoy some time off before traveling to Tennessee for the Chattanooga Cl Classic in April. Men's tennis was on the road last week taking on Rafford and Wake Forest. The Campbells had a strong performance against Rafford winning 5-2 but were unable to carry this momentum into their next match against nationally ranked Wake Forest. Wake Forest defeated the Campbells 4-0. The Camels are now 7-6 overall and hope to finish the season strong. They are back in action this Thursday when they host UNCG. Women's tennis is looking ahead after a 6-1 loss to Elon. The Camels started the day off strong by shutting Elon out in the first match. However, Elon bounced back winning the next five matches, making the Camels 8-6 overall. The Camels now prepare for the next game against Lawnwood on Saturday. Now let's head over to Lucera Hernandez to hear about what's going on this week in the Creek. Thanks, Sarah. This week's action starts on Tuesday when baseball hosts Charleston Southern. The game marks Faculty and Staff Appreciation Night. The first pitch is set for 6 p.m. Men's Tennis hosts UNC Greensboro on Thursday and NC a and on Saturday. The week is capped off by a baseball weekend series against CAA opponent Delaware. This upcoming weekend is Alumni Weekend and a reunion for the 2014 Campbell baseball team will take place on Saturday. Visit GoCampbells.com for more information on the games and promos. Remember, all Campbell students get free admission to the event with a valid student ID. That's all from me. Now back to you. That wraps up this week's Campbell Now Sports. Thanks for watching. I'm Sarah Newman. And I'm Clay Cartagena. We will see you next week on Campbell Now Sports.